Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, April 20th, 2023. Well, Doug, on it yesterday, we were kind of plagued with another day of just uncertainty and chop that kind of ended up being a little bit bearish right at the end of the day. We saw um, some selling coming in all day long after we gapped down in the morning. It was just a bullish press back up here toward resistance levels in the chart. And then we saw just right at the end of the day, if I go to a 15 minute chart, you can see we saw a little bit of bearishness come in and then a little pop right there at the end, trying to bounce it back up off of this little price support area here. And then we had some earnings uh, data that kind of disappointed the market, I guess. And we've got a little tiny bit of bearishness coming in this morning. So let's keep a close eye on that. Now, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Well, yesterday we had a couple of earnings that, uh, well, um, IBM, IBM had initially started lower, but it's bounced up here. Um, after that report, we had Tesla that reported yesterday. Uh, they came in. Uh, their results are, t even though the estimates were lowered and they kind of hit some of those targets, they um, their earnings, their revenue was about 20% lower over last year, and they are being punished here this morning with a little bit of selling here in that chart. And that's creating just a little bit more uncertainty here in the market. If we take a look here at our diamonds chart, you can see that we're kind of slipping past this trend now. By the way, you could change that trend out here and adjust it out a little bit, however you see fit. On, on a trend like that. Uh, you just want as many touches to that line as you can get. You can see we've kind of slipped out. Um, if I draw it this way, a little bit tighter, we're kind of slipping out from underneath that steep trend, which is probably a good thing. And the reason I say that is trends that, are, that go up too steeply tend to not be able to be held for too terrible long. If we take a look, um, Sliding out from under here, though, there's no harm going on because we're holding above this price support level, at least at this point. We're still challenged by this overhead resistance in the chart that has kept us kind of range bound. And if we pull this back, you can see there's a reason for that range bound area in here is all of this support and resistance levels in this diamonds chart. And then the uncertainty that we've been running into on these earnings reports. So looking at this chart, if those bulls find inspiration today, well, I'm gonna suggest that they could push back up here and retest these highs. And if we can push on through those highs, well, that next level up here around that big red line would be the likely location. If the bears get engaged today and follow through, just a retest back down here into this support level would seem pretty logical. And if that were to fail, then of course, we're looking a little bit lower for the next support levels in the chart. I don't think any real major fear will come into the market unless we drop down through that area right there. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, remember all of our technicals here, if we look at our technicals, everything here is still bullish. We were above our 50 day moving averages, our short term moving averages are up. So technically speaking, we're still in a pretty good condition here on the SPY. And the SPY had the ability to rally a little bit yesterday at the end of the day because we were pushing pretty hard on just some very select big tech giants. That lifts the entire market anymore. All we have to do is move a few of those and we can keep things moving to the upside. Well, as you can see, we've been running into this resistance here on the chart and it's so far held um, in, even though we've pressed and pressed and pressed trying to break through. So if those bulls find inspiration today and come off of this low, well, look for a retest of that resistance up there. And if they can pop through there, then we'll start looking for 
resistance levels a bit higher. And if those bears were to uh, continue to engage, we have a, a little support right in here and you can see we're testing it in the pre-market or have tested it in the pre-market. We'll see if that holds and if that doesn't hold, then we're probably coming down into here. And unfortunately that could be a pretty painful big move to the downside and you'll notice that we may be starting to slip this trend just a little bit uh, trying to flatten out as we consolidate and chop in this nasty little range of price action and then let's take a look at our qqq qqq did the majority of the lift yesterday with just some of the big techs pressing to the upside but as you can see we have just been chopping in this range there's just been no uh, no breaking through there and that uncertainty has been pretty darn high now notice we're coming back out here in this rest back out to the trend so we may be getting close to finding that inspiration either by the bulls or the bears to break this to the upside or break it to the downside as we approach that trend. So look over here, you can see we've been chopping in this range. We've got a good lid for the resistance. So if the bulls find inspiration up here, let's see if we can retest this level or maybe break through up there. If we can break through that, well, we'll have to start looking for some higher levels here in the the chart to um, represent that next level of resistance and if the bears if those bears uh, continue to engage this morning and push on lower well it's not going to hurt the nasdaq notice that it could push all the way down into here and still hold trend and still hold price support so that would be the next area i would look um, uh, for a test if the bears had uh, their way with the market today if we look at our IWM, now IWM, this has just been a messy, messy chart. We've got a massive level of price resistance here. We've also got this little, whoops, sorry, went too far. We've got this downtrend that we haven't been able to break back through. And every day is a different day. We're down one day, we're up one day, down one day, up one day, down one day, up one day. It's just a messy, messy chart. And we've got that little bit of bearishness coming in today. So let's look to see if those bulls were to um, um, garner some support here and push back up. Let's look for another retest up here against that resistance to see if we can finally break through. If we see those bears continue to push, maybe a test of this little support area right in here would seem logical. You can see that runs across here. And if that were to fail, then we're probably pushing down. And that would be a pretty ugly um, um, uh, selling that would occur and probably shake some of the market confidence here overall. Let's take a look at our VIX. This is something that has been really interesting and I did a little bit of checking in here. I think one of the things that's really starting to affect the VIX is the massive numbers of zero data expiration options um, that are being traded in. It makes me wonder how much longer the SEC is going to allow this to continue. And the reason I say that is we're running in the 40, 45% of all options traded throughout the day. And, I, and I'm talking like massive numbers of options being traded throughout the day are just zero day to expiration options. That's one of the reasons why we're seeing volumes in um, standard standard market being so low and um, just that massive trading um, in high speculation trades on those zero day to expiration options. And it's having a, um, an interesting effect on the VIX. Now that VIX continues to fall as if there's no concern here in the market. But I think what you're seeing in the price action is there is uncertainty and there is concern in the market. So be kind of careful here. And I think if, if this is still accurate at all, it's starting to show some pretty substantial complacency here in our trading. So just watch that carefully. And what that means is we have to be ready in case something snaps here and we get that, that ugly reversal that um, well, might occur. Not saying it will, might occur in the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 with that little bit of selling yesterday, we got a little pullback here. We're still up here near that bearish reversal zone. 
as you can see all the chop is being represented in here uh, trying to hold up with the hype of earnings and and just you know not getting the results that the market would like to see so watch that carefully in here if those bulls find inspiration in some of the data today then right there we've got that upside opportunity where we could stretch up into this area of the chart seems absolutely possible that that could occur and if those bears find inspiration today well we've got a big downside opportunity as well and again that seems absolutely possible that that could occur so watch that pretty closely today if we look in a little bit more internally our t2107 well t2107 was pretty much dead flat yesterday we're kind of stuck in here between a support level between a resistance level in the chart and this just really shows you the percentage of stocks holding above that 200 day moving average yesterday kind of went nowhere just a choppy ugly day um, in the market on low volume so watch that carefully and then our t2108 a um, little tiny improvement there on the day they tried to squeeze a few of those charts up and it was largely lifted by big tech so as you can see in this chart we're pressing up here toward that resistance level in the chart a little bit of resistance in there as we stretch to the upside and we're getting close to about 50 percent of the stocks above their 40 day moving average so watch that one our t2101 again I, I don't think it's giving us very good data clearly with this kind of chop we don't have much for momentum um, on the market it's um, just some uncertainty I think is what we're seeing here in our T2120 or T2101 if we look at our diamonds um, um, chart here you can see less than expected um, uh, less than average uh, volume coming in on the day so again just that uncertainty we did pick up a little bit in volume and that was just that bearish action coming in here adding that extra volume bump in the diamonds if we take a look at our economic calendar for today well we've got a few things on that calendar that we'll want to be paying attention to for this morning that could change a few things we could um, see bullish or bearish price action in if we on those jobless claims they are expecting those jobless claims in the consensus to increase a little bit so let's keep an eye on that remember that's what the Fed wants to see the Fed wants to see those jobs um, uh, numbers coming in higher um, slowing down that jobs uh, market we've got a Philly Fed number here today this is expected to improve just slightly over the last reading which was a horribly bearish reading of like min minus 25 we're looking at a negative 19 something for today in the consensus obviously an improvement but oof, it's hard to get too excited about that saying uh, manufacturing is on the on the mend here and uh, then we've got existing home sales and and they are also looking for a decline in existing home sales in the consensus numbers today so again showing that economic condition slowing we're going to have leading indicators not likely going to move the market natural gas report not likely going to move the market got some bond auctions going off in here and then through throughout the afternoon into the evening we're going to have just a parade of fed speakers so uh, keep an eye on that a lot of mixed information coming out of those fed members they keep saying fed interest rate increase is coming in may which is may 3rd their decision coming in may 3rd but some uncertainty about what comes after that now um, keep in mind as we move into Friday we have a PMI composite number that is a market moving number as well so you'll want to think about that and who would have guessed more fed speak um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today now our earnings calendar a um, little bit busy today so if you want to catch the full list of notables this morning make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables because i can't cover them all and remember 
as we move forward the next couple of weeks we really ramp up on the numbers of earnings and so uh, make sure you know where that link is so that you can get to those earnings reports because there's no way I'll be able to uh, cover them all. Um, first off, let's take a look at a few. We're going to hear from some more airlines here today. Um, we've got Alaska Airlines trying to pop up here this morning, so keep an eye on that. We're going to get uh, some um, information from American Express. Looks like they're looking just a little bit lower here today. We've got some railroads in here. CSX will be reporting today. We're going to hear from AT&T. Yikes! That's kind of a big, ugly uh, fall there in AT&T. We're going to hear from um, uh, Key Corp here this morning. Looks like we got a little bit of bearishness on that one here today. We've got Philip Morris coming in that will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Rite Aid today. We'll also hear from Seagate. And we're going to catch uh, Union Pacific as well. So, and, and then even Xerox will be in that mix today. So quite a few reports. Some of them are this morning, some of them this afternoon. So just kind of keep those in mind. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful, please do me that favor. Click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. And if you can thumbs up those um, and those comments that are on the video and even comment on those that engagement um, helps a lot with uh, uh, growing the channel so thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that and also if I could um, twist your arm to share these videos out on your social media feeds that helps the channel to continue to grow as well thank you so much for everyone who does do that and also just a huge shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through buy me a coffee i truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at some of these charts boy we've had a, a kind of a mix a little bit of uncertainty coming in but there are charts out there that are well still looking pretty darn good and holding up really strong if we take a look at fdx in here i've set a price alert on fdx and we're just slowly gradually um, sliding down here toward this support level very very light uh, consolidation in here so I would be looking for that next opportunity to see if they can pop through um, obviously we've got some price resistance over here to deal with in the chart but this is one beautiful trend and we may just be consolidating out here until we come along and we engage that trend out here a ways so watch that close in FedEx UPS UPS is another one to be paying attention to on that shipping side if we're gonna be bullish in this market if we're gonna be going to the upside consumers need to be spending and what that means is nowadays we need to see our shippers very very busy if that is going to be the case so watch that carefully breaking through resistance here in that chart on UPS maybe a little rest consolidation is due to slide out here toward the trend and watch for your next opportunity in ups um, keep an eye on uh, disney here now disney pulled back here just recently there's some news out there there's kind of a legal battle going on between disney and and um, florida who knows how this is going to play out but watching this closely we also had um one of the major um, banking institutions or something analysts out there uh, say that Disney has a 30% upside opportunity because of the movie slate that they have coming out so who knows but watch that closely I like this pattern we've broken this downtrend we're holding in this uh, trend at least so far holding above support so I think it is worth keeping an eye on in that chart um, take a look at stocks like Pfizer. 
Pfizer really breaking down here. Now this was one I was thinking could might might have that chance to turn that corner and be bullish in the market, but now we've broken that trend. So this is one I'm gonna have to say leans to the bearish side now. Let's take a look right in here. If we were to rally back into any resistance there in that chart and see a failure, I think I'd have to be short on that Pfizer trade. Now that being said, if we take a look at like BMY, BMY failed yesterday in this trend, but not so much that I would throw this into that same uh, bearish mix, but I'd watch this close. If it can pop right back above and hold in that area, there still may be some upside opportunity. But if we continue to slip to the downside here, we might be seeing a little bit of that institutional um, problem happening here where, well, we thought they were gonna be supported by the big institutions, but then maybe not so much, and that could start to fail again. So watch that close. Let's take a look at utilities. Utilities are coming up and looking really strong. And as you can see, breaking through this downtrend here in the chart, and we're holding in this price support level. Um, looking pretty good and if you break this down you'll see there are stocks in this sector quite a few stocks in this sector looking very very good showing those upside opportunities upside trends they're all over the place here in that sector so i would keep an eye on some of these utility stocks in there looking just pretty darn good um, of course we have to continue to mention um, these big techs as we approach those big tech earnings reports coming up uh, well over the next couple of weeks uh, these giant companies are showing quite a little bit of resistance in the chart but there's still just that willingness to buy 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 them up here and pressing those resistance levels so keep an eye on amazon if it can break through that resistance and hold that higher low up here well, then there might be some opportunity coming up in there. Keep in mind, it's going to report on the 27th. Um, Amazon, or, or excuse me, Microsoft, with their chat GTP, probably one of the better ones in big tech that have something new really going here um, in the market that I think may have that opportunity to push it on higher. But once again, pressing right into a big resistance level here in the chart so watch that carefully gonna report on the 25th we've got Apple whoops Apple continuing to stretch to the upside which is interesting to me because we saw a report just about a week ago that said Apple MacBook sales are down 40% this year we've been seeing very slow very sluggish iPhone sales going on here in Apple but boy we sure, certainly have lots of promise here in Apple in that new idea that they might be going into banking you can start running your savings accounts and stuff through Apple and getting corporate backing there well maybe that's enough to to of uh, something new to push this on higher but I gotta be honest here I would be a little bit questioning how these earnings are going to come out here on 5.4 so watch that carefully um, so with that guys I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for listening. I do appreciate it, you guys. Your kind support and your kind comments um, are awesome. Thank you. And I will see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Be prepared for some considerable volatility through the next several weeks of this market as all of this data rolls out. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here Friday morning. Wish you all the best.